Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for Tin Ready. Question number 20. Choose each function that has an inverse that is also a function for all values of x. Mark all your answers on your answer document. I'm going to use the vertical line test here and the, like a real look at what inverse means to solve these. So when I'm talking about a function, I'm looking for something that only has one specific output for each input. In a vertical line test I can use to test because if it strikes a place twice then it fails the vertical line test and is thus, and is thus not a function. Uh oh, not a function. But all these only hit once so that means each x value has its own unique y value. Now all the y values can be the same. This is still a function even though, I mean, if you can make yourself believe this is a straight line, all the y values are the same. Still a function, it follows the rules. So instead of doing a bunch of algebraic things, I'd rather just graph them and then think about what inversion means. So I'm going to get my calculator out here. And unfortunately, I can't do the full inversion experience because da da da, da my calculator won't like flip sideways. Too bad. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and set this up to graph 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 and I'm going to graph it. Now the inverse means that the x and y's flip so one of the things that you could do is just look at it uh, if you could turn your calculator on its side it makes it much easier but I can't do that so I'm going to have to say that I went, instead of looking from here down, which it is a function coming up and down, I'm actually going to look at it this way instead, and you'll notice that this fails here and here. So the inverse is not a function, so this is one that is not. So now I can do 2x plus 3. No. And there's my original graph. It is a function and meets all the criteria. And if I go at it from the inverse side, so looking at it this way, it still meets all the criteria. So yes, this is actually one that does have a function. And if I were to, uh, to work the inverse out, I would actually just switch the x and y's. you graph this it's a function as well so it works out generally if it becomes really complicated to flip it may or may not be but don't use that as like a fallback like if you try to do the inverse of this one it's pretty complicated mathematics so it's likely that it's not a function but don't use that as your criteria find something else so now I'm ready to use 3 halves x plus 2 And I'll graph this. Looks good. Perfect. Inverse works fine. So yes, C also works. What about D? Oops. Don't forget to click out when you hit your when you raise something to a power. It's a function vertically, it's also a function horizontally, so yes, the inverse here works as well. And finally, my last one. Oops, there it again. Wah, wah. It works normally. Looks pretty good, actually. This way, not so much. So this one is a failure. So your answers based on this are B, C, and D.
Evidently, if they could pass both the vertical line test and looking at it this way, which is called the horizontal line test, uh, it's a one-to-one -one function. So you'll notice that x to the fourth here and x squared have some things in common. They both have even exponents, so that might be a clue sometimes. Uh, but graphing them and looking at the functions, uh, looking at the, the nature of what the functions look like is probably the most important uh, idea in how it goes. But generally, if it will work out to where the equation or the function will fill out the whole form, you're good to go. But if it laps back on itself, probably not going to be a function in the inverse either.